Good morning, y'all. It is early. It is 8.07. But, um, I felt like I wanted to share this with you guys. So, um, I, like, I think I've said this before where I'm, all, I'm well, yesterday I had said how I was a, obsessed with Jesus, right? And, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I just clocked in as well. So, um, bear with me. But, yeah, I'm obsessed with Jesus, right? I'm a stickler for Jesus. Like, I I, I want to hear from the Lord, like, because everything he's been saying to me, you know, it's just been blowing my mind or things that he's been, you know, doing for me. It's blowing my mind. And it ain't even, like, it's not even some of the stuff. It's like nothing big. It's small. But you got to celebrate everything. Anything God do for you is a blessing, honey, because he ain't got to do nothing. He ain't got to do nothing for you. And so, um, I took a nap yesterday. Um, well, actually, so, I have this habit to, of where I get up, work, whatever. I tell myself, you're going to get something done when you get off. You're not going to go get in your bed. But when I get off, I still go get in my bed, but I go get in my bed and I do something. I read my Bible or I do something that's dealing with Jesus. Like, I love the Lord. So, um, I was talking to my girls up north and I was like, um, I know I always tell myself that I'm going to go, you know, when I get off, I'm going to go and do something. And um, I just... I don't know why I still go get in my bed, but I'm still, like, I'm working. Like, I feel like I'm working. I'm working for the Lord. I'm trying to get his word. I'm trying to, you know, get as much as I can in me so I can go out and, you know, spread his word or whatever and be that vessel he called me to be. And um, that was like, it's, I mean, I don't think you can consider that not doing work. Like, you're, you're you know, or whatever. So, um, and also too, I stay up late. I stay up late because after I do what I do for the Lord or learning or reading or, um, watching like something, I fall asleep. I take a nap and I, my naps end up being like three hours long <laughs> and I cannot shake that. I can't shake it. So it's almost like I got sleep and I'm up until one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning sometimes. And I also started a new routine where I get up at five. My alarm clock goes off at 5.30. Sometimes I get right on up. Sometimes I'll wait till six o'clock and get up. But that's when I start my meditation and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, I um, took my nap after what I did was I watched Dietrich Haddon's um, new movie is called Fallen. If you haven't watched it, it's really good. It's on All Black, and it's uh, you have to download it. It's a free trial for seven days, so if you don't want to pay to watch it. Just use the seven-day free trial and watch it, and um, it's, it's really good. It'll bless you. It's actually a scene in there to where I felt the Lord. I actually felt the Lord, so well, I, I would tell you guys to watch it, but um, it's all black, spelled like A L L B L K. Um, if in case you guys haven't heard of the um, app or whatever, but um, I watched that, and it was really good. So um, I ended up, I was going to read my Bible afterwards, but I ended up falling asleep, and I woke back up. I want to say it was around see, maybe ten something, almost eleven o'clock. And I had um, wrote down some movies that I wanted to watch, like The Passion of the Christ. I watched that a long time. Well, I started watching it, and I ain't ashamed to say I fell asleep. And I asked the Lord for forgiveness back then, but I never got around to watching it again. So I felt like the Lord told me, like, you don't took a nap. Your mind is refreshed. Watch it. I know it's late, but you just took a nap. So you can watch it and get what you need to get out of it. So I watched it. It was about 11 something when I turned it on. I watched it. I watched the whole thing through. Didn't fall asleep this time. 
and I got, I did get a message. I was like, um, especially like towards the end, it's like when you're watching it, you, you just see the love of Jesus. Like it almost makes you, it's like you crave more for Jesus. Like because he laid down his life for us and like, he paid for all of our sins. Like, how can you not love the Lord? So, um, the message that I got from it, because I ain't ashamed to say, y'all, a long time ago, I used to be scared when people talked about the rapture, the, the coming of Jesus. And, you know, in this uh, Passion of Christ, it's talk, at the end, the guy, he talks about how, um, the second coming of Jesus, he's going to come on a white horse or whatever. And I just seen it as a glorious experience. Like, and I'm like, there's no reason to fear it. Like, there's no reason to fear the, the second coming of Jesus. If you're following him and you love the Lord and you believe that he died for our sins, there's no reason to fear the second coming of Jesus. And, and when I started feeling that, that man, he said, as a follower, we have nothing to fear about the future. Nothing to fear. So I just say to you guys, don't put fear in your heart. Don't, don't go around fearing nothing but the Lord. Because, I mean, he is a jealous God. Like the, the Lord and the God, you don't want to mess with him. I don't want to mess with them. So just don't don't go around fearing nothing that's by man. Nothing that's by man. And just hold fast and know that he's coming. But it's going to be a glorious, it's going to be a glorious time. No worry. You're not going to be fearing. You're not going to be worried about nothing. No tears. Like, it's going to be a great time, y'all. And I can't wait for it. I can't. <laughs> And um, years ago, you wouldn't you wouldn't catch me saying that, like, cause I was scared. I was scared, and I know you're not supposed to fear nothing but the Lord. But like, I'm telling y'all, this whole awakening that I have has done so much for me. And I, I, if anybody is out there that don't feel like this, get in the word. Get in the word. Get in the word for yourself and be remember that there's false prophets out there that will tell you things that might come to pass, but they also might lead you lead you astray. It's in the Bible. So you have to make sure that you pray for discernment to know that what you're hearing is from the Lord. And that's all I can tell you right now. Like just just Get in the word. I'm telling you, it's going to bless your heart. It's going to bless your soul. It's going to bless your spirit. So I have to get to work, you guys. But I just wanted to share this message. And I hope that somebody gets something out of it. God bless y'all.